Okay, so we're going to give you a few demonstrations of the lob serve. Um, for me, it's very important to get up into the front of the service box to serve the ball. Uh, that's my preferred position. With my feet uh, aligned towards the direction on the front wall, which I'd like to hit. So I have a target, um, and you're going to see with the, the demos that I give, it's going to highlight on the wall where the ball is hitting in order for me to get the correct angle that I want to get. So don't forget, the angle that I'm trying to create is hitting that side wall and hitting it at the back of the service box as deep as possible, pushing my opponent backwards and trying to get that ball to drop before the back wall. Okay, so we'll just come over to the service box here. I'm looking for it. So as I've said, my angle of the delivering my racket to the ball is starting off quite low. I'm coming very deep underneath the ball and I'm gonna hit that ball nice and high up onto the front wall. Now, that particular serve there, you can see my angle. It's basically the middle of the front wall and we're up about half a meter um, underneath the outline and that's quite high. I felt that I could have hit that ball a little bit harder and got that ball a little bit deeper. So let's go and have a look at another serve and see if we can get that ball just that little bit stronger as I'm hitting it above and that was actually quite good. That one there hit the side wall pretty much where I wanted it to and got that ball deep into the corner. And you'll see where I've hit on the front wall is quite consistent. I'm getting it just on this side, a touch on this side of the middle of the front wall, but certainly I'm getting that height in there. If I don't get that height, I'm not gonna get the hang time in the ball into the back corner and force my opponent to hit that ball way above their head, which is what I'm striving to do. What we'll do now is we'll get Elliot back onto the court and we'll give him an, try and get him and see how he reacts in terms of responding to these balls. Ultimately, I, would, I want him to boast the ball out of the back corner by trapping him in the back corner. Um, his best case scenario is volleying before the wall or after the side wall and getting the ball straight down the line. Let's get Elliot out now. Here we go in terms of just seeing how the player responds to the lob serve. So that was an example there where I didn't get the ball over to the side wall and that made it much easier for Elliot to get a free strike at my serve before it hit the side wall. So we need to put him under more pressure. We'll do that with the next serve where I get that ball going a little bit deeper and further across onto the side wall, forcing Elliot, not allowing Elliot to be able to volley the ball before the side wall. I'd like to get a little bit more hang time with that lob serve, put him under a little bit more pressure, and this time you'll see me go across to the tee and make sure that I'm in position to start the rally. So racket nice and low under the ball, lifting it up, and that just put him under that little bit of pressure, enabling me to get across in front of him.